guys, welcome back to another video and happy Halloween. Today we will sh be showing you how to make the skirts for shopping Halloween costumes like these. And here we have Sarah Sushi who really wants a Halloween costume in this color of tulle. So we will be showing you how to make one of those and put in the comments what you think Sarah should be. Okay, let's get started. So what you'll need is some tool, a pair of scissors, a small rubber band, and a shoppy doll of your choice. I will be using Sarah Sushi. First, you're going to need to cut some tool about one inch long, but you don't really need that, so It is not required to be straight or anything. As you can see, it's very messy, cu messily cut. So then fold it in half and wrap it around your fingers. If you don't wrap it around your fingers, it might be hard to follow this next step. So then pull it up with a finger on your other hand while threading it through the rubber band and pull it tight. If you have a strip that's too long like I have here, you can cut it. I will be showing you a few more strips and then and then I will teach you how to fit it to the shoppy and what to do when you're finished along with all that other good stuff. So this, so remember to pull through like this and then sometimes it's nicer to have it a bit away from the other ones and then you can just pull it to, towards them. Sometimes they can stay in one place so just be aware of that because not all of them are movable. But sometimes they, us they actually are movable just a bit too tight. So now I will be continuing the skirt and coming back when I'm done to show you the final steps. So I'm back and it's finally time for me to put my skirt on. So this is how you do it. First you Insert your shoppy doll through the rubber band. Then, get a pair of scissors. Make sure not to cut the string or the shoppy's hair. Just cut a little slit and make sure to tie your knot really tight. Three knots is recommended. Number one, number two, and finally, last but definitely not least. Number three, these three knots are very important. If you do not have all three, it's quite likely that the rubber band will come loose. Then turn it to the back, maybe separate a few. And there we have it, our shoppy doll skirt. 
he, if she has a accessory belt like she does, you can just put it around. And as you can see, the skirt is way too tall for her. So you can just stretch it out and floof it, or you could cut it. So here we have the end product. I am going to put back on all of her other accessories except for her skirt. See what she looks like with those on. And once again, I would like you to put in the comments what you think Sarah Sushi's costume could be. So make sure to put that in the comments like I already said. And I will be showing you how to make some of these cool items such as the witch's hat, the broom, the crown, the trick-or-treat bags in two styles, and that headband, which you need a shoppy doll who you're okay with cutting the headband off from. I have some world vacation shoppies that I could do it on because their headbands came loose. So here we have the end product and I really like this. Once again make sure to like and subscribe, click the notification bell, and you will be able to see all of the other fun costumes that we made. So let's see what Sarah has to say about her costume. I love this. And please, please, please put in the comments what you think I should be. Because then, well, I'll be the only person in town without a, th a good costume. I'll just be a girl wearing a skirt. So please, please, please put down your costume recommendations for me. And if you would like to see any other shoppies and costumes, and what costume you'd like to see them in, my friends always love dressing up.